N-formyl methionine, Wikipedia article audio. N-formyl methionine is a derivative of the amino acid methionine in which a formyl group has been added to the amino group. It is specifically used for initiation of protein synthesis from bacterial and organella genes, and may be removed post-translationally. Function in protein synthesis Relevance to immunology FMET plays a crucial part in the protein synthesis of bacteria, mitochondria, and chloroplasts. It is not used in cytosolic protein synthesis of eukaryotes, where eukaryotic nuclear genes are translated. It is also not used by archaea. In the human body, FMET is recognized by the immune system as foreign material, or as an alarm signal released by damaged cells, and stimulates the body to fight against potential infection. FMET is a starting residue in the synthesis of proteins in bacteria, and, consequently, is located at the end terminus of the growing polypeptide. FMET is delivered to the ribosome, mRNA complex by a specialized tRNA which has a 3-UAC5 anticodon that is capable of binding with the 5-OG3 start codon located on the mRNA. FMET is thus coded by the same codon as methionine, however, OG is also the translation initiation codon. When the codon is used for initiation, FMET is used instead of methionine, thereby forming the first amino acid as the peptide chain is synthesized. When the same codon appears later in the mRNA, normal methionine is used. Many organisms use variations of this basic mechanism. The addition of the formal group to methionine is catalyzed by the enzyme methionyltrinaformyl transferase. This modification is done after methionine has been loaded onto tRNA F met by aminoacyltrinous synthetase. Methionine itself can be loaded either onto tRNA F met or tRNA met. However, Transformylase will catalyze the addition of the formal group to methionine only if methionine has been loaded onto tRNA-F-met, not onto tRNA-met. The N-terminal F-met is removed from majority of proteins, both host and recombinant, by a sequence of two enzymatic reactions. First, peptide deformylase deformylates it converting the residue back to a normal methionine. Then methionine aminopeptidase removes the residue from the chain. The mitochondria of eukaryote cells, including those of humans, and the chloroplasts of plant cells also initiate protein synthesis with N-formal methionine. Because FMET is present in proteins made by bacteria but not in those made by eukaryotes, the immune system might use it to help distinguish self from non-self. Polymorphonuclear cells can bind proteins starting with FMET, and use them to initiate the attraction of circulating blood leukocytes and then stimulate microbicidal activities such as phagocytosis. Since FMET is present in proteins made by mitochondria and chloroplasts, more recent theories do not see it as a molecule that the immune system can use to distinguish self from non-self. Instead, FMIT-containing oligopeptides and proteins appear to be released by the mitochondria of damaged tissues as well as by damaged bacteria, and can thus qualify as an alarm signal, as discussed in the danger model of immunity. The prototypical FMIT-containing oligopeptide is N-formyl methionine lysylphenylalanine which activates leukocytes and other cell types by binding with these cells formal peptide receptor 1 and formal peptide receptor 2 G protein coupled receptors. Acting through these receptors, the FMIT-containing oligopeptides and proteins are part of the innate immune system 
they function to initiate acute inflammation responses but under other conditions function to inhibit and resolve these responses. FMIT containing oligopeptides and proteins also function in other physiological and pathological responses.